I thought it might be useful to do a video comparing how the Amazfit T-Rex 3 stacks up against the Garmin Forerunner 955 as far as accuracy of run tracking data and GPS. Uh, now the sensor that's uh, inside the Garmin Forerunner 955 is pretty much the same one uh, that can be found uh, on Garmin Phoenix watches. Uh, granted, uh, there has been another generation of Elevate uh, since the Forerunner 955 was released, but uh, the accuracy is not that much different. So, uh, you can see them here side by side. The T-Rex 3 is uh, a much bigger looking device than the Forerunner uh, 955. In the past, uh, I had the Mazefit watches uh, and uh, around uh, those early editions uh, were plagued with uh, GPS problems and uh, uh, heart rate accuracy problems. As you can see here, I'll uh, start the 955 uh, run just to show you how quick uh, the GPS connects. Okay, it's looking for the signal. Now I'll do the same on the Amazfit. Out the running, go. And uh, the Forerunner 955 uh, is... Uh, uh, well, there you go, they, they both found uh, the signal. Uh, and that's uh, consistent uh, with uh, what I've found uh, in the past few runs. I've tested the uh, Amazfit uh, T-Rex 3 against the 9, 400 955 for about three or four runs. And consistently, the Amazfit was just as quick, most of the time, uh, slightly quicker than the 400 955 in acquiring the GPS signal. Uh, I remember in the past uh, it would even take a couple of minutes for the Amazfit to uh, capture the GPS signal, but obviously uh, the watches have advanced uh, in the past few years. Now uh, the next thing I'll show you are the results for uh, a recent uh, 7.5 kilometer run. Uh, and I have to say these results are uh, indicative of uh, my past runs uh, when I've been comparing these two watches. Uh, so. Uh, as you can see, uh, the data is extremely similar. As far as heart rate, uh, the average heart rate uh, on the T-Rex 3 for the run was 132 beats per minute, uh, and the maximum was 145 beats per minute. Uh, for the Garmin, uh, the corresponding values were 130, 132 beats per minute, so exactly the same as a Mesfit and 146 beats per minute for the maximum heart rate, so only uh, one beat per minute to the difference. Uh, the pace, uh, very similar, 6 uh, minutes 26 versus 6 minutes 24. Uh, the cadence, uh, again, uh, the T-Rex had me at 170, uh, the Garmin at 169 as far as the average cadence, cadence during the run. Uh, with a slight, slight discrepancy in the maximum uh, cadence. Uh, aerobic, anaerobic uh, data, fairly similar again. Uh, so I can say it's, it's the Amazfit watches have uh, advanced quite a bit uh, in recent years and they're on par as uh, with Garmin as far as the tracking of uh, the GPS and the heart rate data uh, during uh, runs. Now, the obvious question is, uh, uh, what happens is during high intensity runs? Well, uh, I mean, you re shouldn't really be using uh, uh, devices that capture heart rate from the wrist when you're doing high intensity runs. You're better off with a chest strap. And the good news is uh, that uh, Amazfit watches uh, can connect to, well, the recent crop, crop of Amazfit watches can connect to uh, heart rate chest straps. Uh, so that's uh, also something that you can do with the Amazfit uh, T-Rex 3. All in all, uh, I've been very impressed with the Amazfit T-Rex 3 in my er early testing. The quality of data is pretty much on par with uh, Garmin watches, which uh, many people will find surprising considering uh, the, the, the price difference between uh, the two brands. Uh, for example, the Amazfit T-Rex uh, uh, sells for uh, one third or one fourth the cost of the uh, base uh, Garmin Phoenix 8 uh, uh, device. I mean, the one thing that still separates them is uh, the breadth of the performance uh, metrics. Uh, you still get uh, um, much more uh, on, on Garmin watches, uh, but uh, Amazfit uh, 
is uh, amazed with watches are steadily narrowing the gap. Uh, and it wouldn't surprise me if in another year uh, the amazed with watches uh, match Garmin on discount as well.